Welcome to Booze in the Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edwards, and it's great to have you here today. We're going to make the Whiskey Sour. Now, this classic cocktail has been around for a long time. In fact, you can first find it in print in Jerry Thomas's 1862 Bartender's Guide. However, the controversial ingredient that people are up in the air about nowadays is egg white. And egg whites didn't show up until around the 1890s. And after that, you started to get a lot of variations like the New York Sour and the Greenwich Sour and so on and so forth. But what does that egg white actually do? And this is a, a little piece of technique and knowledge for you just so you can say, haha, I know. Uh, what it does is the proteins in the egg white, it emulsifies and it changes the mouthfeel, but it does that by actually trapping air in the cocktail. That's one of the reasons you actually get that foam. And if you stick around to the end, I'll show you a piece of technique when it comes to shaking so that you can get the perfect foam every time. Now, as I said, this is a shaken cocktail, so grab your shaking glass. And we're going to start with a little bit of lime juice. So grab yourself a lime, give it a bit of a roll to loosen up all of the cells inside the lime. That way the juices will come out easier. We're going to cut our lemon in half and measure it three quarters of an ounce or 22 and a half milliliters and then pour it into the glass. Your second ingredient is going to be a simple syrup. Now we're using a one to one simple syrup, meaning one part water, one part sugar. You heat it up to all of the sugar is actually absorbed into the fluid and it's nice and clear, which can sit in the fridge for a good six months if you're not using it. But I highly doubt you're gonna wait that long. But we're going to use the same amount, which is three quarters of an ounce or 22 and a half milliliters. The third ingredient that you're going to use is your bourbon of choice. Use your favorite bourbon. Um, now I'm using an old Forester here. You could use something like a bullet, which is 43% or a four roses single barrel, which is 50%. Use what you like best. Now I'm using old Forester. As I said, it's 86 proof, which is 43%. And we're going to do a full pour of two ounces, which works out to 60 milliliters. Our next ingredient is egg white. And you could choose to do something totally different. So. If you prefer a vegan alternative, you could use aquafaba, which is garbanzo bean juice or chickpea juice. And you can get that directly out of the tin. It stays in the fridge for a while. It's perfectly good. You could also use something like a Magic Foamer's Bitters. However, I prefer the egg white because it gives me a better foam personally, and I get a really good mouthfeel out of it. So what you're just gonna do is you're just gonna crack this open and put the egg whites in. Now that you've added this in here, what's going to begin happening is the egg white is going to begin to emulsify, which means it's going to start being cooked by the lemon juice and the alcohol that's in there. I'm just gonna give that a little bit of a swirl. It'll begin the mixing process. Grab yourself your lid, put it down, let it sit for a second. Now what's going to happen is you're going to get a bit of a gas buildup. So make sure you pop it back off for a second to allow the pressure to dissipate so that you don't get everything all over the place. And make sure that when you shake this, you hold onto this really tight because you will get an expansion of gas and shake it solid. Now that you've done that, you just gotta make sure that you pop it the right way so that it releases that pressure. And now what we'll do is what's known as the wet shake, which is add a couple of ice cubes. And I suggest using some large ice if you have big ice that's bigger than one by one inches or two and a half by two and a half centimeters, you need just two or three cubes. If your ice is a little bit smaller, use a bit more, but don't use pebble ice because it just won't work. So all I want is two or three pieces of ice in there, which is just enough to chill this down and dilute it a little bit. It's going to allow us to actually get a bit more foam. And all you're gonna do is just shake this one with a smile. Now that you've shaken it hard and you're breathing like a bellows, um, somebody needs to invent me something that I can just, you know, put on my bar. Wipe down your hands, grab yourself a rocks glass, and what we're going to do is fill this with some ice. You don't need a lot, totally up to you. So just, you know, fill it up most of the way, which is exactly what you need. This will keep your drink cool longer. But what we are going to do now is fine strain this and the strainer will actually uh, keep and create tighter bubbles in the foam.
absolutely gorgeous. Take a look at that color. Take a look at that consistency. So what's going to happen now is over the next minute or two, it's actually going to foam up very, very nicely. But what we are going to do now is we're going to garnish this with your bitters of choice. I'm using Angostura bitters. And one of the things about that is if you're doing it without the egg white, put the bitters directly into the drink because you not only want that odor, you want that taste. So grab yourself a little pipette or something like that. And what we will do is we will drop four drops on top. Look at that, absolutely gorgeous. And it'll give you the odor that you want every single time directly to the nose. And you can add more if you want, and you could even draw some fancy designs. So what do you get out of this? You get some immediate Angostura bitters to your nose and a slight hint of bourbon. Mm. And you get one of the best cocktails ever made. It is absolutely gorgeously balanced. You get a little bit of the bourbon, a little bit of that uh, lemon juice, and a little bit of that simple syrup. And you get a fantastic mouthfeel and a great smell to go along with it. If you like this style of cocktail, take a look right here.